Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you that how we can enable RDP or how we can use remote desktop services on Windows Server 2022 and for demonstration purpose I have two virtual machines here Windows Server 2022 and also have Windows 10 and I'm going to use Windows Server 2022 and for that I have to first launch my server manager and you can launch your server manager from here just click on start button and then click on server manager and all already have the sun server manager with me so you can see once you have the dashboard for server manager you can uh, go here in the manage on the right hand side click on manage and then there is an option to add roles and features so click on add roles and features and uh, then you simply click next and then it's something you can read there yeah. so click next and here we have two options role based or feature based installation and we have remote desktop service installation so we are going to select remote desktop service installation and we click next and after that for remote desktop services they can be configured using these two options maybe standard deployment or quick start so in a standard deployment this allows you to deploy remote desktop services across multiple servers when you have more than one server let's say but in, in my case, in our case, we have actually one server. So in that case, I'm going to select quick start. And this allows you to deploy remote desktop services on one server. So click next. And then we have two options, virtual machine based desktop deployment or session based desktop deployment. So in virtual machine based desktop deployment, user can have virtual machine based desktop. But in session-based desktop deployment, they can have session-based desktop deployment. They will not have the virtual machines here. They will not have the exactly virtual machines. So in my case, we are selecting here session-based desktop deployment and click next. And then here we have been given the name of the server which we'll be using to deploy or to use that role. So there's the name of the server and then click next. And uh, it may take a few moments. And yes, now it shows that to complete the installation, the destination server must be restarted. So you say that restart the destination server automatically if required. So I'm going to select this. And then you can see the following role services will be installed. So it will have RD connection broker, RD web access, RD session host, which we have discussed in some other video. And we simply click here, deploy. And after this it may take some time so maybe I'll, I'll stop this video at this time uh, like at the moment and then I'll be back when this this these steps are complete So now the system has been restarted. I just need to give my username and password again. So I'm going to log in at ad admin user and I'm give my password. And it may need some more time for uh, completing this setting. So in during deployment process, it still needs some time. It has restarted one time and hopefully after, the com after completing the remaining steps, it will not restart again. And now you can see here uh, on the right hand side, it shows the remote desktop services and this local computer. So now it's coming. So these are the services which we are installing now. And here is the message that remote desktop licensing mode is not configured and remote desktop services will stop working in 120 days. And yes, we are using not using licensing version here. We are just using the trial version of Windows 2022. And for this desktop licensing as well, we, are not, we don't have any license because this is only for demonstration purpose. And we are using in, in virtual environment. I have created these virtual machines in VMware. Of course, you can create these virtual machine in, in virtual box as well. Now it seems this has been completed. I'm going to simply close it. 
and after that I'm going to show you that I have here in, in two users so if I click on tools and Active Directory users and computers then this uh, in users I have created two users teacher one and student one and if you want to know that how to create users and groups I have another video for that but I have already these two users these are two domain users and then I'm going to click on local server here and here you can see for remote desktop this is enabled if I click there and then it says allow remote connection to this server select users if I click here you say all the domain users they should have access to this and this administrator already has an access if you simply click let's say if you want to add more users we can simply say let's say teacher one and click check names it says yes teacher one is there and the domain we click ok and simply say ok ok so now that user oh, of course all domain users but this user should have access uh, to use this RDP from some client machine which should be part of domain so in that case this is Windows 10 machine which is already part of this domain I'm going to restart this Windows Server 2022 from here so let's say restart it both of the computers I'm going to restart server 2022 and Windows 10 both of these virtual machines are being restarted and then simply we try to log in in Windows 10 uh, and then Windows server is coming so meanwhile yeah we need to wait uh, until we have Windows server 2022 because this is the domain and this will verify our accounts okay let me log in again here so that will be admin this is when this windows server and then we go to windows 10 and on this windows 10 let's say i'm going to log in with the with teacher one account and then we need to give the password for this user and then click So this is a teacher account and we are on windows server now from here again i want to verify that these services are enabled so click on local server and here it shows that remote desktop this is enabled yes this is enabled and then we go back to windows 10 and windows 10 we can start that's actually client machine so i'm going to start remote desktop click here and then we have to give the IP address of server that is 192.168.10.2 and then click connect it will ask for the password so we have password for this user we are going to use that password here and then simply click OK and for the certificate we click yes and now you can see it's showing that it's uh, coming with, with the remote desktop connection RDP and now on the right hand side here on the right bottom right you can see this so Windows Server 2022 even though we are on Windows 10 but we can see this Windows Server 2022 and then we can click on start and you can see here we have the server manager Windows PowerShell everything which we have on this windows server that is now available from windows 10 as well so that's it this is what i wanted to show that how to uh, use rdp remote desktop protocol and what rdp services are i have discussed the theoretical part in some other video and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video thanks